Now, last last thing I want to tell you is uh, is this. For seven, this will not be the way, okay? This is a cone-shaped thing, right? If you were trying to draw, you draw the top of the cone there. It's filling up. Both of them are variable, right? The the radius of the cone, remember that the water inside here is uh, is what you're looking at, not the shape of the reservoir. You're looking at the water that's actually changing as you go here, right? The water's changing as it goes up. The... The uh, <laughs> is a rock to start. Yeah, no, that's supposed to be the surface of the water. So you realize it's a cone. But there's the radius of that, and there's the height of that. If you did the cross section of that, you know, that conical shaped uh, water. If you did the cross section of it, you'd have it would be a triangle. If you did a cross section right in the center of the thing, right, and you have the height here, and you have the radius there, it's always those are they're related to each other because if you started here you have v for the volume you have r for the radius and you have h you have three variables when you have three variables either you can just write the formula with three variables or you can if you know how two of them are related you can you can eliminate one like we did in 4 4 if you know how two of them are related here are your options here I don't mean just options in this question, but options in general when you have more variables than that. Work with three if necessary, or you could eliminate one of them. And in this situation, you can eliminate one of them. If you know the shape of that, if that cone is always going to be four this way and no, three this way, the height of it is three. And the radius of this is Four, right? It's always going to be that height no matter where the water is. Radius, height. R over H equals 4 over 3. You can change this to radius equals 4 thirds H because the thing you want to keep here, which is the thing you're concerned about? The depth of the water and volume, right? It talks about, it talks about the rate of change of volume. And it talks about the rate of the surface level rising, right? Find the rate at which the surface level of the water is rising. These are the ones you want. You don't, you don't care about this and you're not given any information about that. If you were given information about that, you could just do it with all three variables involved. But you can use this to replace it. So you, you need to know what the cone is. The cone is a third of what it would be if it was a cylinder with the same height. So it's not just pi r squared h, it's a third pi r squared h. It's one third as big if it's if it's a cone-shaped thing instead of a cylinder, right? Imagine that if it was a cylinder this same height here, it's one third the volume for any pointy-shaped thing like that. If you want to do the, if you want to do this now, both of them are variables, so we can't just omit one of them. But what you can do first is uh, your other option here, as we said, is eliminate one variable. And that's what we're going to do here. Okay, You're going to eliminate one variable using this. So you can replace R with, what do we have here, 4 thirds H squared, and then you have the rest of it here, H pi 1 third. <coughs> Simplify that and then work with it. Um, um, you don't need to show kind of everything here, but oops, uh, what did I miss there? H squared and then H. So we have uh, 16 27ths pi H cubed. That's a particular formula in this situation that you're going to use. If you were given information about the radius as well and the rate of change of radius you could just you, you could just do it as it started and use the product rule since we can eliminate one variable one approach to this is to get rid of that because if you went through and found a formula that involved radius and height you'd end up with with two things here we're only here all we need to work with is the height and the and the volume we don't need to use radius at all 
So I'm not done yet, right? You have to use, you have to find your formula for this. You have to differentiate both sides and get dv dt equals. You can chuck all of this stuff outside here, pi, and then you have the derivative of three h or of h cubed, three h squared. But then we need to multiply it by dh dt. That's your formula for this situation. You can simplify it first if you want. Cancel one of the threes if you really want to. This is telling you something here that you notice that it the only variable over here isn't just dh dt. There's also the height. That's a variable, right? The taller it is, okay, so do some thinking here. The quicker your the quicker the height is rising, the higher this rate of volume is, or vice versa, right? This rate is related to two variables in this situation. This is one of the variables, and this is the other variable, because height is variable here. In the swimming pool thing, the radius wasn't variable. It was only affected by the rate that the height was going up. This is affected by two things. The taller the water is, right, the, the bigger that number is, if we go back to the picture, the, the the farther up the water is, that affects the rate of change of volume, right? And the faster the faster uh, the height's going up, the faster the volume is changing. All right. Once you have that formula, then it's just subbing in numbers, make sure your units work out. All right. There's there's kind of a part two to this. Um, continued, related rates continued. The only difference here is now we're working with more variables. But I think some of you have already seen how you can start doing that. You need the chain rule. You also might need the product or quotient rule, right? Chain rule, but also product rule and quotient rule. Maybe. Right, if you have things here. Here you're going to have to use the product rule, but we'll leave that for now, okay? Because you can have time to either mark your assignment if you have it done, continue to work on this, or work on textbook assignments.